Good morning everyone, I hope that you're all well. Today is Friday, the 17th of December. Welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. Can't believe we're on day 18 already. It's every day, every day I declare how I can't believe what day it is and blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, I hope that you're all well. Um, life is getting somewhat back to normal now because my parents left this morning. I'm just trying to edit yesterday's vlog, but the computer keeps freezing and I got very distracted trying to set up a Patreon. Yes, a few of you said how you would like to have a monthly, or you'd like to have a virtual knit night, so I'm thinking of bringing that in monthly, because uh, I think that would be fun. Um, yeah, I'm not going to start d with promising too much and doing too much until it's established and then I can gradually start introducing different things and more tiers and blah 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 because um, I had a Patreon before in 2015 and the problem I found with it is is that I found it um, I was promising too much and I was spreading myself too thinly so promise less deliver more is the goal is the goal um, but I am still working on it so um, it's not going to be for a little bit and then I just had to restart the computer, so it might not be for even longer. Quite a chilled out day today. I've got some errands to run. I have some birthday cards to buy. I've got some, um, I've got neighbours cards to deliver. I've got to nip to the post office. I need to buy some more moisturiser. Not from the post office, that's a sidebar. And um, I need to put washing on, tidy, vacuum all those pine needles that are all over the floor still because I haven't done them. And yes, generally get my life back together because my parents have now left. Um, and yeah, I can get back to normal chatty vlogs again because I felt a bit, one, I want to just be spending time with them and two, it's awkward filming yourself talking to a camera or it's awkward to be talking to a camera filming yourself when there's a room full of people. So I didn't do that much but normal service should resume today um, and I need to knit Mario's jumper a bit more but it's currently 5 to 11 and I'm still editing this but it's only a sh I think it's only going to be a short vlog so hopefully I can get it all edited and while it's saving I can nip into town and go to the post office and whatnot. I have a bit of a different Christmas jumper on today. It's a new one for this year which is great. Oh, um, after my booster yesterday, I feel fine, generally. I am I feel quite tired, but that could just be because I've had visitors for the past week and I'm not used to having visitors at all. Uh, but also my arm's a bit sore, not horrendous, not as bad, ooh, not as bad as the last time I had it, but still a bit sore and um, yeah, I don't want to be leaning on it or anything, so. But overall, I don't feel ill, I feel fine. And Mario feels fine. He got up at 3 a.m. this morning and is doing a bake because um, he's got some deliveries today. So, all in all, going well. Uh, he has a market tomorrow, um, which is a very, very early start, which means I need to edit this tonight because he's going to pick me up at quarter to seven in the morning or half past seven, around half seven, quarter to seven. Half six, quarter seven, sorry. Um, but I have, I get the lion because his alarm will go off at 1 a.m. So I feel like I get the good part of the deal and then we'll come home and I'll have a big nap. It'll be lovely. Uh, but it's the last market of the year, which is very exciting. And yeah, should be good, should be good. Good times all round. Right, I am going to go and continue editing this vlog and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. So I've just finished editing the vlog. It's now 20 to 12, how is most of the day gone? I've had a huge slump in energy um, as well. I feel like I need to take some paracetamol, so I will take some paracetamol. Um, I don't think I've got a temperature, I can't t decide. I will need a nap. I've somehow made a video that had not much content in be 16 minutes long, so I feel like that, that is a special skill that I have that I can talk quite a lot about nothing, but uh, time to head into town because I've got cash to pay in. My responsibility is paying in Mary's money. No pressure. Um, and also moisturizer and those cards. Going to go take some paracetamol because maybe that will make me feel a bit better. But I quite like this jumper. I wasn't sure how I felt about the roll neck when I first got it. So I wasn't really wearing it much but I actually it's not that bad, it's quite nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go head into town while it's not raining. I don't think it's meant to rain, but 
while it's not raining, I may as well go into town while this is saving. Hey folks, so I went to town, the money's been paid in, I got the cards that I needed to get, and I was meant to go on to the vets and pick up the bub's f uh, flea and worm treatment. I should probably whisper they're upstairs though. Um, but, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel quite ropey. I think it's vaccine related. I just feel a bit achy and very tired. So, I'm going to take it easy for a bit, I'm going to chill out for a bit, I'm going to sit, I'm going to knit, I'm going to watch Critical Role maybe, or Terrible Christmas Film, or any of the other things that I fancy watching, and put my feet up and just knit this jumper, and um, just take a bit of time. And then hopefully, in an hour or so, I've taken some paracetamol so that, that should kick in, uh, in an hour or so I should hopefully feel better and then I can um, walk to the vets and get their medication uh, or treatments. Because um, it's only a five minute walk away, it's not far away at all. So I definitely could have done it, but my legs feel really achy and I just feel like, ah. Oh. So, um, yes, I've, I can, it's only half past 12 now. So I still do still have some time in the day. I'm just going to take it easy and knit for a bit because I'm not quite feeling myself. I don't. No, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. I feel like I look a bit peaky. I always have a bit of colour in my cheeks and I don't look like I have a whole lot of colour in my cheeks. But that could just be confirmation bias. But I am uh, making my way through, um, Critical Role fans will understand, uh, the single malt sweater. I've, oh my arm, finished the ribbing. I am doing the um, cast off. I wanted to do a stretchy cast off that doesn't flare but I couldn't find one so I'm doing one that does flare and hope that it blocks out because I'd rather it not be super tight around the bottom and on the sleeves and stuff. I did think about doing a tubular cast off and then I thought, hmm, Hannah you're full of tricks. Can you be bothered? No I cannot. So I will save tubular cast offs for my own jumpers because I know I would appreciate a tubular cast off and I know that Mario wouldn't even notice. So <laughs> I love the man but He's not a knitter. You save a troop with a cast off for a knitter. <laughs> oh goodness. Or a hat. Um, anyway. Yes. So I've only got this tiny amount left to cast off. And then we can pick up and knit the sleeves for his gorilla arms. My mum says that she always knits. My mum, this is the first jumper I've ever knit for Mario. My mum always knit. It's now become a tradition for her to knit him a jumper for his birthday. And, um... Yeah, so she always knits the sleeves an inch longer than the pattern says and knits the sleeves for me two inches longer than the pattern says. I'm not even that tall. I'm not that tall. I've just got gorilla arms apparently. Who knows? Um, currently uploading yesterday's Vlogmas and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna watch something and make myself a glass of squash. And I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna sit and knit. I might make a tea in a bit. So I've done some knit sitting and some knitting and I might go back down and have a nap at some point. I didn't make a cup of tea so I preemptively didn't make a cup of tea. Uh, the cat has joined me. Bless her. They've been sleeping on the bed. Being very good. But um, I'm going to open day 17 of my advent calendars. So starting out I have the Chromatic Yarns advent calendar. This is my own hand dyed yarn in colours inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Today we have Hippogriff. Diddly-oo. It's a fun one. I hope that those of you who have the advent calendar are enjoying the advent calendar. I've seen some of you um, are posting on social media and saying that you like it. So I'm taking that as everyone liking it. Because um, otherwise, I don't know, can't do much about it. But yeah, it's the joys of an advent calendar. No, I haven't heard anything negative, so 
Next up we have the uh, Bird and Blend Advent Calendar. And depending on the tea, I might have one. Who knows? Day 17. Today we have Mince Pie. Tea for Mario. Um, nothing quite says Christmas like a classic mince pie. You don't have to play with the bubble wrap. She does. Kimchi is playing with the bubble wrap. I apologise for the rustling. Um, it's Sri Lankan black tea, cinnamon, almond pieces, orange peel, red cornflowers and natural flavourings. But yeah, it's one of Mario's favourite. He loves mince pie. Um, the mince pie bird and blend, so. As always, the tea of the day will be in the description box below. Um, and if they're like a limited run one, there's only it's only while stocks last. So if you go online and it says it's not there, it's because it's sold out. But um, yeah, I'll pop it down in the description box below for those of you who want to try it kimchi you're being very distracting right now and finally we have the fiber fox advent calendar before i see any spoilers um yes day 17 we have so few left it makes me quite sad oh beautiful this colourway is called Daenerys and is beautiful, uh, like a frosty greenish blue with pale lilac-y purple and is very pretty, very pretty. What are you doing, little one? Um, but yes, that is advent calendars for day 17. I am still knitting Mary's jumper, of course. Um, I've picked up the sleeve and I'm going great guns on that. And uh, yeah, just about to start some decreases. So I will either have a nap or I'll just chill out and I'm just gonna pick you up for a small cuddle. I hope that's okay. Hi. No, let me love you. Let me love you. She does not want to be loved. Look at that little face. I love you. She's not purring, that's not a good sign. Okay, 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 okay. You are free. Ow. You can play with the bubble wrap. But yes, I'm going to go and um, keep knitting this jumper. Like, it's going to be a very low key day again because um, I'm not feeling 100%. I don't feel terrible, but I just feel off and quite tired. And yeah, I think it's the booster. I know some people have felt absolutely awful after the booster, but um, yeah. It's one of those things. Right. I'm going to take my advent calendars back downstairs because I can open them back downstairs and uh, yeah now I will put the kettle on and let's go make a cup of tea it is time While I was out, um, I got some post, and well, a few days ago, I got an email. I got a, ages ago actually. I got an email from Chloe of Pink Hot Jewelry. She makes beading patterns, and she asked if I wanted uh, any of her beading patterns. And I just was a terrible human being and forgot to get back to her. And then a few days ago, she messaged me on Instagram and asked um, again, and I said that would be really lovely. She said, "What's your address? I want to send you some goodies." So the goodies came, and I want to see what I got. I'm not going to show you the front. Obviously, it's got my address on it. And I don't really want to share that with you on YouTube, if that's okay. Boundaries are healthy. Bub, these are not for you. These aren't for you. Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm excited. Because she said, is there any in particular that you want? And I said... Chef's choice, i.e. please choose for me. Um, and yeah, I'm curious to see. Mm -hmm. What have I got? 
so her website is pinkhot.co.uk. I'll pop a link in the description box below. I'm not being paid. Um, I'm obviously not being paid, not obviously. I'm not being paid to um, talk about these, but to Hannah, I hope you enjoy these beady gifts. Have a wonderful Christmas. Best wishes, Chloe. Fun fact, she used to work at the bead shop in Nottingham, which is where I used to work, but we didn't work there at the same time. Our paths never crossed. But she has sent some tiny plant pots. I didn't know what they were initially. Um, I have a tape measure and a cabochon and a, like a phone charm things. And then she sent some patterns. So I have a kawaii cactus one. That'll be a cute stitch marker. Oh, Mary has just got back. I've got a Wild at Heart pendant. Uh, this one looks like it's brick stitch or peyote. Looks like peyote. You could do either. And then, oh, cool, that's where she sent the tape measure. She sent the design your own tape measure so I could make myself a beaded tape measure. That would be super cool. So these are intermediate to advanced intermediate to advanced and this one is intermediate and then she's also sent the jazzy flowers necklace which is really pretty this one is advanced and then stegosaurus drop which is intermediate to advanced but yeah super cool thanks chloe Good evening everyone. Like I said, it was going to be a low key day today and it very much was. Um, my camera battery was dying and Mario came home and made me quite flustered, but I am really excited about these um, pink hot patterns and I'm excited to give them a whirl. They're a little bit different from what I currently do, but I think it'd be fun to make a tape measure and um, the little cactuses are adorable. What size beads do I need? Size 11, size 15, size 8. Sweet. And some wire. I might have to get some of these and get making them because I think it'll be really fun. But yes. So thanks, Chloe. Sorry, I was a bit rushed before. Um, I won't lie. I'm still not feeling 100%, but I had a nap, which did help. I woke up to Miso jumping on me and Mario desperately trying to make her not jump on me because he knew it would break me up. But, you know, too late. And then... I got quite a good scratch. It was it's quite it's quite a good one. Um bless him. But yeah, I just had a it was probably about half an hour nap and I'm still going on the tea that I made uh 3 hours ago. It's ice cold but tastes delicious. So we're going on that. But yeah, it's been uh the low key day that I needed. Got lots of washing done, I vacuumed under the tree. <laughs> I really needed to. Um, bought the birthday cards that I needed to get and paid Mario's money in, which I needed to do, and then just chilled out. Uh, Mario's felt fine all day. His arm barely hurts. Um, it hurts when he touches the area, but because uh, it's slightly bruised, but other than that, he feels fine. Um, but yeah, I just feel a bit run down. I have taken a test and I am negative. So yeah, it's just vaccine side effects but the good news is I finished casting off the body of Mario's jumper and I am knitting the sleeve Ta -da! I think I messed up the um, decreases at one point but that's fine as long as they vaguely match on each side doesn't matter and I don't know I always get a hole under the arm when I pick up stitches but um, I know people always say, pick up extra, then decrease and blah. I don't, honestly, I don't care that I have a hole under the arm because I can sew it up. So I just sew it up. I just deal with the fact that I have a couple of holes under the arm that I need to sew up, which is fine. But yeah, I'm making good progress on the sleeve. I've got, I don't know, what, five more decrease rounds to go. Um, and then it's just straight knitting. So after the market tomorrow, um, 
we're gonna come back. Mary is probably definitely gonna fall asleep. I'm gonna watch a Christmas film and I'm gonna knit this. And that is what I'm going to do basically for the rest of my life is knit these sleeves. If I'm smart, I could have them done by Monday or Tuesday. If I'm smart, but yeah. Because it's Aran weight, it, grow, it does grow quite quickly. There's not many stitches and you're decreasing every, I think, fourth round. So, yeah. We have sleeves. Finally, I was, I was a little concerned at one point that it wouldn't get done, but now, now I'm onto the sleeves and the body is finished. It feels like the end is slightly nigh, which is good. I've woven in all of the ends because I'm very organized, apart from um, obviously where I've picked up for the sleeve, uh, but I've woven in all the other ends. And yeah, I'm just doing magic loop for the sleeves because uh, it works for me. And yeah, it's going, it's going. And that's all that matters. Um, we're on the home straight, as it were. And hopefully this will be done and blocked by Christmas Day. Keeping the fingers crossed. Well, we shall see. We shall see. Pretty low key day. I'm really sorry that I haven't um, filmed much of what I was doing, but um, well, I was napping. That's one thing that I did today. And yeah, it's just, it's been a low, it, it has been a low key day and that's okay. I can't be go, go, go all the time. Just had a week of go, go, go. So it stands to reason that I will crash at some point. And today I crashed. Um, my hand is really sore. I keep picking it. My thumb is really sore. But yeah, we've got a market nice and early tomorrow morning. So this hand cream is really good. Not sponsored, obviously. O'Keefe's working hands. Um... I've got market early tomorrow morning, so I'm going to go and edit this vlog this evening, so I don't have to do it tomorrow morning. Because, yeah, Mario is going to come pick me up at around 22, quarter to seven. I will be ready by half past, just in case he's early. Uh, half past six. Um, and then, yeah, market. Market till 2 p.m. It's quite a long, more, it's quite a long market. Eight till two, um quite intense but that's okay especially because Mario gets up at 1 a.m. and so it's flagging by well midday really um that's okay we can come back nap Christmas film and then Strictly Come Dancing final pew, 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 pew. Which, uh, annoying that one of the finalists um has an injury and I don't think it's going to be in the final which is a shame because uh yeah she's really good so it's between two other people um, yeah. I wonder how they'll fill the time. Because now there's going to be two dances less than there were going to be. So I wonder how they're going to fill the time. Curious. I'm curious to know. Um, but yeah. It'll be annoying to get to the final and then not be able to do it. Oh, that would really annoy me. Anyway. It's fine because I'm not on Strictly. Nor will I ever go on Strictly Come Dancing, so that's fine. And if I were to go on Strictly Come Dancing, I wouldn't get very far. <laughs> I'm waffling now. I'm overtired. I'm going to go and edit this. Um, but yes, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It really helps boost my video into the YouTube sphere and uh, gets more people over here joining the party that is the corner of craft if you have any ideas of um, rewards or perks you would like on patreon um, let me know leave them in the comments down below and while I said I wanted to keep it simple initially if there are any good ones that I think that I want to bring in in the future I'll write them down in a notebook and they'll be in the future they'll come in in the future once I'm established and have a routine I say this every year that I'm going to get a routine have I had a routine yet no fly by the seat of my pants every day. <laughs> if you'd like to follow me on social media, please feel free. Links, as always, can be found in the description box below, along with tea of the day. I'll go teas of the day because um, I had chocolate digestives today, so I'll also link chocolate digestives because it's my favorite tea from Bird and Blend. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you have been up to today. Um, 
I am loving hearing about how you're getting on with your gift knits and your gift whips, should I say, because people are crocheting them as well, as well as other crafts, um, because I'm incredibly nosy and I like to know that I'm not in the struggle, the struggle alone, the struggle. As long as I have it done by Christmas Eve, that's all that matters. <laughs> but yeah, let me know, leave me a comment down below, or just let me know what you've got up to today, or um, something that's made you smile, something that's made you happy, or whatever, let me know. And with all that being said, thank you so, so much for watching. It has been lovely having you here, joining me today, and I will see you very soon. In fact, tomorrow, in tomorrow's video. <laughs> oh God, I find it really awkward signing off of videos, even though I'm now into 18 days of doing this, I still find it awkward. <laughs> see you later, bye.